Boy, I tell you, everybody that wants to get out of Dodge and go into a rural area and take advantage of a USDA loan, I'll tell you what, it's a great idea and it is a wonderful loan program, but there are some real kind of critical mistakes that I have seen other lenders make before they get too far down the road on this. And this is very important that you understand this. Most lenders, what they do when somebody says they want to buy a USDA property, they'll just confirm that the property address and the link where you can do this yourself is right here in the website. But uh, they'll just confirm that, oh yes, that's an eligible area for a USDA property. There's a couple of other little factors that come into play on this is that number one, USDA has an income cap on it and it's household income. So I've seen some people, they'll say, well, my husband and I both work. Our combined income is over the limit so we'll just put my husband on the loan and we won't count my income over there. Well, if your husband's income by himself is below the limit, but the spouse puts you over the limit, you're over the limit because it's household income. And USDA is gonna to require to see the tax returns to see what the household income is on there. So be aware of that. The other thing on there is that you can't really use a USDA loan to kind of build a portfolio. So let's just say that you have a home and you live in, a, in an urban area, but you've got a great interest rate on that home and you want to keep that home and convert it into a rental, and otherwise you qualify for everything for a USDA loan in the rural area and you want to keep that home here. You, you can't do that. You can't have another mortgage already in your name on a house. That house would have to be sold. And once that home is sold, uh, then you, know, you don't have any other real estate holdings, then you can get a USDA loan. But this brings up the third little gotcha on the USDA loans. Let's say you go ahead and you sell the home here and you end up having $100,000 in the bank after you've sold your home in the urban area and the home that you're gonna go buy in the rural area is a half a million dollars. Well, USDA looks at what your capacity is to get traditional financing and what they mean by that is if you can put down 20%, on the purchase price of the home that you're buying, even though you qualify for USDA, the property is eligible, your household income is eligible, and you don't have another property, the final gotcha on this is gonna be, well, wait a minute, you have enough money from selling that home in the city that you can put down 20% on here, and because you have that much money in the bank, you still can't get the USDA loan. So just a couple of quick pointers to check in with before you get too far down the road on it. Push button, get mortgage professional, and I would love to talk to you and guide you through the process. Take care. George, 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 of the jungle strong, yes, he can be.